Well, this is one of our favourite places uh, most recently. It's a place called Stoke Bruin um, in Northamptonshire. And we're on a camping and caravanning club rally. Um, here we are in the middle of the field and we've got quite a few other campers around us. Um, it's a really nice place because it's uh, just the other side of that hedge there is the uh, canal um, and if you go actually just <laughs> just beyond that fence over there is a CL site a camping and caravan club uh, CL uh, or CS probably they call it um, and just beyond that you can, you can go through the gate and then do a little walk out onto the onto the road. It's a little country lane, fast traffic, so it's not great for walking right down. But you can uh, scoot through the. Um, there's a pub called the Navigation, um, just there beyond that CL site, and um, you just go through their car park, and you can take some steps up onto the canal path. But then there's. Um, if you go onto the canal path, turn right, go so get, keep going that way. You come to the canal museum, so which is uh, we've not been in yet. We've been here a couple of times, but we've not been in there. And there's another pub over there called the Boat. We've not been to that yet either. We have been to the navigation. Um, it, you know, it, uh, it was fine. Um, people say the boat is better. I don't know, uh, but we're. We're <coughs> spending the weekend here as we uh, we like to get away on these little rallies. So um, actually, <laughs> we're coming again here next weekend on a motor caravaners club rally. Um, so we're you know it it, it is really um, a nice little place to be. It's a it's a cloudy day, but it's it's hot. It's so hot. Um, <laughs> you think you're going to come outside to get cooler, but actually, it's uh, it's actually quite warm. There's no, there's a little breeze. A little breeze brain now, um, and that makes it really nice, actually. So, but you'll see. Um, as I say, the little CL site there, and then the two pubs and the canal walk make it pretty much an ideal place to come um, this rally is £11.50 a night of course no electric um, but there is uh, fresh water tap and um, an Elson emptying point which is quite accessible uh, we, we normally you know, for, for a couple of days our water lasts us no, no worries so um, we're, we're quite fine about that Wendy likes it here too, don't you, darling? I love it here. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do love it here. Yeah. yeah. The canal path and the pubs and, and the, the museum and the cafe there and yeah, got yeah. Pippin loves it as well. Yeah. Mm. So it's really, it's a really nice place to be. It's so handy for us where we live too. You don't need to go miles. It's yeah. Nice. We're only <laughs> if you go the long route, it's about twenty-five miles. Um, the short route is <laughs> maybe half that, I don't yes. know. Maybe it's about 20 miles from where we are. So we're here at the uh, boat pub. We're just sat outside at the table and uh, I've got a cup of tea. Wendy's got... I've got a Diet Coke. Pepsi. Dark Pepsi, yeah. yeah. Um, it's quite a nice little place to sit actually. Because you see the boats going by, you've got the um, canal museum across the way, which you can't see that at the moment. Um, and there's a little, there's, there's the, this is the boat in uh, this, and they've got a little ice cream shop here. You can go through into into the bar, which is where I went to get our drinks. So uh, it's yeah, it's a very nice place, quite a pleasant little walk quite close only a, only a few minutes wasn't it not not very long at all so no, it yeah. wasn't very far no. it's quite nice and it's it's very cloudy it's quite warm 
Um, we both put coats on. <laughs> Wendy's taken hers off. Yeah. Um, and I've still got mine on, so I'm just going to take that off now because it's quite warm. So this is the entrance to the Canal Museum. And I've just been in because I was told that it, there was a charge to go in. Um, so I've just been in to ask how much it costs to go in the museum. And apparently about a year ago, it all became free. So that's quite nice, isn't it? A lovely little coffee shop and the staff were so very helpful. Um, all the side windows are open here, so I'll probably, there you go. That's the beautiful little coffee shop and uh, the museum's down the back there so uh, probably to be recommended although I've not been in <laughs> We've had a bit of rain overnight, haven't we? Yeah, it woke us up. But <laughs> had Unusual. to shut the <laughs> shut the uh, the roof in the lounge and in the bedroom because I got sprinkled with rain <laughs> while I was laying in bed. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but we've had a very um, relaxed uh, weekend, haven't we? It's beautiful here. Yeah. Yes. So we've not done anything no. really. We just. Um, We've been two people outstanding in our field. Yes, we? <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> well, I've read my book and I've enjoyed sitting out. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah, when the weather's reading perfect. Books, yeah. The weather's perfect. Yeah. Yes. So that's very good. Um, well, the, the weather's perfect apart from rain, a bit of wind, um, and well, not enough sunshine really, because so let me just rearrange that strap that keeps slapping around not enough sunshine because our uh, leisure battery is feeling a bit sick this morning it's still going there's still power in it but the the warning lights flashing yeah yeah you said that so <laughs> so the um the sunshine which yeah it seems pretty bright you know but it, there's no it's all it's all cloudy the solar panel will be putting power in because I know it. I know the, it's ultraviolet that um, that makes the solar panel work. But you know, we'll give it a charge up on the drive home, and then I'll probably plug it into the mains power, give it a give it a day's worth of boost. That, yep, that helps. Yes, it does help it. Yeah. But but I'm um, bearing in mind the battery is uh, obviously two years old because it's getting on that way because that you know the battery would have been fitted in what September uh, two years ago September 2020 when we bought the van so it's nearly two years old yeah mm. so the battery is two years old and it's not been treated kindly as we never do do we no, no. we tend to use it and use it and use it until oh. until it's gone <laughs> <laughs> and yeah so so that's what we're going to. So I'm looking. I'm looking now at the best sort of battery to buy, and it, I'm not going to go through the same old nonsense that I did with the Comanche. I'm just going to go straight for a lithium battery, um, so that we won't have to worry because the the onboard uh, charger here um, has a lithium setting, so the lithium battery will be a straight drop-in swap. Uh, for the for the lead acid which which will be nice um, you know, while I'm while I'm doing that I'll probably put a, a proper monitor in just so that we got a bit better idea because only got um, there's sort of lights that go up in three sections three six nine 
and uh, at the top end it says I think it says 100 percent but it's never it's never been on 100 percent since we've owned the van ever not ever and never does even when it's been fully charged I think when it's plugged into the power when it's plugged into um, shore power as it were or hook up the battery reads 100 percent but that's because it's getting like 100 amps off of off of the um, power <laughs> but never mind anyway so we'll sort it out it won't it won't cause a problem because we're not living in the van and it's not so no critical no, and we not. don't really use any 240 so we do a bit I'm, I'm a bit constricted if we're away because my laptop's 240 volt charge and I can't find a 12 volt charger for it um, so but everything else is USB you know all the all the phones and uh, stuff like that everything headphones USB charging uh, iPad USB charging so it's all good yeah yep. but we've had a lovely time here um, yes. let's just give you another little look out at our view that's we've got um, we got a little group of people here they they were having sort of parties in the middle well not big parties but you know sitting together um, and then people all over all over there and actually I'll just show you where we are that's us and then there's um, vans over the back there and then well there was a van just there but that's gone they've got it because the rally's ending today and there's a van over there so um, I don't know why, it seemed a bit odd. This van, this caravan here, that you can see, that parked right next to us, they were the last ones to arrive. And as you'll see, we were, we sort of parked away from everybody. It's sort of right in the middle of the field, because we know the field and it's nice to be in, in the middle. But when that caravan arrived, there's plenty of space elsewhere. Um, but they decided to park about ten foot away from us. Yes. This is a bit weird. So close. Still, um, and it's so close. They, they could you could probably fit two cars in in between us and them. Um, but it just felt with this massive field, and and they parked right in line with us yes. like they could have parked further down that way or further back there or you know it was just a it was just a bit weird anyway we <laughs> we didn't say anything no. you know live and let live why not yes we wouldn't say anything yeah no no just like we're sitting live, there eh? looking out over the field and then they suddenly drew up in front of the window. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, so, what the heck are they <laughs> are you doing? Well, well Wendy's sitting in she sits Wendy sits in the driver's seat here with it faced the other way. Mm. And um <laughs> she looks out of the passenger door window yeah. and the side window on the other side. But then of course a caravan pulls up and it's like <laughs> it's like somebody's Built a, <laughs> a wall in yeah. front of you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, it, it's a bit, it's just a bit odd. But people are, though, aren't they? Yes. I, as I said, you know, um, some people like to be in uh, in line with other things. You know, mm. park. You know, they can't. It's like it's like if you're in a massive car park at the supermarket, you park right out of the way. You always find somebody else parks right next to you. While you're in shopping, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's like it's a bit you like that. So you know, yeah. anyway, but that's our weekend. I hope yeah. you've enjoyed the little pictures um, that we've shown and the and the very wide narrow <laughs> wide narrow boat, the wide beam Ooh. canal boat. It's a hotel boat that was. Um, isn't it? Yeah, hotel yeah. boat. Yeah, takes eight eight people. Eight people stay on it. So yeah, there's some people going in there. Burst of Harmony there. Goodbye. They're letting their water drain as they drive across, which is the the way, the way to do it. Anyway, 
So we're going to say uh, goodbye. So it's yes. goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from her. And Pippin's fast asleep. Oh, so Pippin's fast asleep. She would yeah. say goodbye. She yes. got up early. Yeah. Like half past five. Yeah. Scratching <laughs> at me, having to take her out for. Well, she wanted a drink of water and then to take her out. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> that's what you get for having a little precious pup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what anyway. you get. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye bye for now. Bye bye, everyone.